Strauss and welcome to another card video. In this video I am featuring a few encouragement cards using Pinkfresh Studio products. Uh, also I have discount code for Pinkfresh Studio for the next couple days. So just scroll down to uh, the description in the video to see the supply list and also the code. So I'm using few uh, stamp sets and dies. I'm using the Fancy Floral 1 and 2 background dies along with a uh, floral cluster and floral elements, uh, stamp set and dies. Um, the dies coordinate with the washi tape, the paid, painted florals washi and the bloom stamp set. So what I'm doing first, I'm die cutting the fancy floral one and two from gold and uh, paradise cardstock. Next I'm adhering the, those are layering dies. So the fancy floral one I die cutted from gold cardstock and the two I die cut from the paradise. I'm just adhering them together using some liquid adhesive. I'm gonna put a heavy acrylic block on top and um, and let it dry while I'm working on the rest of the project. Here I'm using the Word Series Believe uh, stamp and die set from uh, Pink, Pink Fresh Studio. Unfortunately, this uh, stamp set is retired along with the die and I didn't realize until I was trying to search for the product on their website. So I did die cut the word and I'm using my Misty and the negative to line up those and stamp, direct, stamp directly onto the die cut. So I'm using my Minimisti here and I'm using my anti-static powder tool and some Versamark ink to stamp the sentiment. Next I will apply some gold embossing powder. I'm using Hero Arts gold embossing powder here. Just cover it all and shake off the excess, flick off the excess of that gold embossing powder, I'm gonna heat set it. Just putting it on a wood panel. Actually this is a cutting board that they use for embossing and other crafty stuff. So now let's see how this is gonna look and I felt like the sentiment was kinda getting lost with that background. So I decided to cut up a strip of vellum and um, add that underneath the sentiment so it kind of sets it apart from the busy background. Just making sure that that strip is straight. I'm just adhering it on the back. Folding it on the back, trimming the sides that would be visible from the sides, the edges of that uh, panel. And then I'll just add some washi tape to secure it on the back. Making sure that uh, you're not able to see it from the front of the card. So I think that looks good. Next I'll use some uh, foam adhesive to adhere that belief onto the vellum. using some uh, foam squares here. And I'm adding that to the vellum uh, strip. Because I, I secured that on the back of the panel with washi tape, it was very easy to remove. I'm just adding some adhesive beni beni behind the sentiment so that will also secure it to the panel. Next I'm adding some ad liquid adhesive on the back and I'll adhere it to a top folding uh, white note card. So that's good. I put the acrylic block back on top so it dries uh, Flat. Next time I uh, stamping sentiment from the same stamp set onto Paradise cardstock using Versamark and my Minimisti. I stamp it twice to make sure I have nice coverage. I'm applying some gold embossing powder and I'm gonna heat set it. 
You can see how the embossing powder is melting there. Next, I'll trim that to size, to strip because it's a little bit wider. I decided to keep the top uh, straight and then fussy cut on the bottom side of that sentiment. Here you can see how I'm trimming that down to make sure that it's nice and parallel and um, aligned. So here I'm cutting that uh, the bottom part with my uh, sn uh, paper snips. So this way we have a little bit nearer sentiment and it fits nicer onto the card. Next time I'll use some uh, foam adhesive, little strips of foam that I cut to size to fit on the back of that sentiment. So we're almost done here. To finish up the card, I'm just adding some white pink first studio jewels all scattered onto my background and I'll add a couple onto the vellum strip. I first added the adhesive and then I'm just dropping the jewels um, where I have the little drops of, the, of adhesive. Here you can see that I'm adding more. We were going to move to the top part. And add there one and that finishes our card. So next I'm going to speed up here because th these cards are pretty simple. So I'm using washi tape. I'm using the painted florals washi tape and I'm adding it onto car white cardstock that's five and a half by eight and a half. And um, next I'm continuing onto a second piece of cardstock the same size. So this is a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 cut in half and I'm just continuing adhering that. Uh, washi tape little by little unrolling and making sure that it's adhering flat to the cardstock. So the washi tape coordinates with floral cluster and floral element stamp and dies. So next what we'll do, uh, use those dies from floral cluster and floral elements to die cut all of the elements that from the washi tape that we adhere to the cardstock. So by magic of YouTube, I'll speed up here, skip all the die cutting process. All these little flowers have coordinating dies except the strip that's on the right side. Here you can see me, I'm securing it with the washi tape so it doesn't move. I'm gonna run into the die cutting machine. So we have everything die cut here. Next what we're going, we're gonna use the same sentiment belief and um, I don't know why, but I removed it from my Misty earlier instead of living it in. I forgot that I was going to use the same sentiment again. And I have a couple of uh, already die cut elements. For the belief, I'm uh, dropping that into the negative and stamping, inking, and stamping with Versamark. I'll do it a couple times. And then I will apply the gold embossing powder. I'll repeat the same one more time. I'm dropping in that negative, applying the anti-static powder and stamping with Versamark. Again, I'm stamping one more time. And then I will cover it uh, in gold embossing powder and flick off the excess. Next I'm grabbing my cutting board and I'm heat setting uh, that embossing powder, melting it.
So I think those are good. So I think that this looks pretty um, good with that gold sentiment. Next what I'll do, I'll stamp the line sentiment, the thin line sentiment, again twice. We're going to use it on both cards. I'm stamping with reverse mark and I will uh, add gold embossing powder and heat set it. And I'll repeat it one more time for the second card. Like the cards will say, believe everything will fall in its place. Again, I'm adding the gold embossing powder and heat setting it. So next, by magic of YouTube, I've cut those into uh, thin strips. I'm just trimming off the ends here. And we're ready to assemble our cards. So I have a um, white cardstock panel that measure four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to adhere the wreath and the floral cluster. And then on top I'll adhere the sentiment, the belief, and then um, the little tin strip. Before I go into it, I'm using a kind of splatter stamp from floral cluster stamp set and I'm stamping it in gold onto my background to add a little bit more interest and kind of more um, shimmer to our cards. I'm using some uh, fun foam, not fun foam, but foam square adhesive to add uh, the cluster onto the panel. Next, I will adhere the sentiment and then the little sentiment strip. I'm cutting a thin strip of um, foam adhesive with my scissors to add on back of that sentiment and I'm going to use my T-ruler to make sure that the sentiment is adhered straight. Next I'm using some fun foam and I'll adhere that whole panel on the top folding white note card. So next let's move to the read card. And I'll repeat the same process. Again, I'm using four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock. Before adhere the read, I'm stamping some of the splatters to be uh, visible inside the read and outside the read. Then I'll remove the adhesive on uh, the backing on the, from the adhesive on the read. Adhere belief and then adhere the little stri strip sentiment believe that everything will fall in its own place. I'm using the tear ruler to make sure that I adhere that straight onto my card. So I think that's straight and centered and I'm adding the fan foam on the back and I will adhere it to a top folding white note card. So here are those two cards and the very first one that we created. Now let's move on to some quick and simple cards. We're going to use the uh, Thinking of You sentiment. This is from Bloom, uh, the Bloom stamp set and I'm stamping it in black. I'm stamping it five times on four by five and a quarter uh, white panels. And next I have the smaller uh, elements from uh, that washi tape that we already die cut. I'm just assembling those cards to see where I want to add those little ele flower elements. And to make a few, in my case, five uh, very quick thank you and few cards to send to friends and family, especially this time when everyone is um, told to stay home and practice social distancing. So again, around the clusters, clusters that I will adhere onto the panels, I'm stamping some uh, gold splatters. I'll go. To, I'll do this. This the same for all five of the cards. So they will be all similar but different, very simple and very quick with those little uh, small clusters. Next, after I'm done assemb like adding those um, on my card, 
on the panel, I'm adding fan foam on the back and adhering it to a top folding white note card. So repeating the same thing for the second card, this is a little bit different design, instead of having the clusters on the left and the right, I'm having those on top and bottom. I'm using different um, elements, they're not identical. I'm using the larger one on the bottom and the smaller one on the top. Again, I'm using foam adhesive to adhere those onto the panel. So next, let's move to the uh, third one. I'm using two identical uh, little flower cluster stamping that gold splatter adhering those using a foam adhesive. I'm using little squares and next we can move to the next card. This is um, almost identical as the previous one. Just the cl clusters are a little bit different and let's, let's move to the last one. We have the clusters on top and bottom instead of sides and we are pretty much doing the same thing. and adhering the elements using uh, foam adhesive. So let's take a look at the cards. Here are the five uh, very quick thinking of you cards. Next we have the belief card that's with the uh, dice and the ones with the washi tape. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!